everyone, and welcome back, finally, to the laboratory! Oh my goodness, it has been so long since we have been in here mixing and matching different animal genes to create curious creature crossbreeds, but we're finally back! We are finally back! Oh my gosh, I really need to get, like, we have laboratory swag, by the way, where if you look on our little store that we have on here on YouTube, which is quite convenient, actually, we actually have stickers for the laboratory, we have little water bolts for the laboratory, some of you guys have been showing me pictures of the things that you have gotten and it has been tickling me so much and we have been having so much fun bringing some of the creature crossbreeding efforts that we have here into other amazing games i can't believe there's actually going to be a zoo game with let's build a zoo that actually works with crossbreeding animals as part of building the zoo like that's just amazing that's just absolutely amazing and then of course there's wobble dogs and and that's that's an experience, friends. I've never experienced anything like Wobble Dogs, but I have to say, the further in we go and the weirder Wobble Dogs becomes, the more I am so grateful that for many years now we have been mixing and matching jeans in the barkatory right here. Because otherwise, I don't think I would be prepared for just how weird Wobble Dogs gets. <laughs> But all right, guys, so today we are going to be diving right back in, so I hope you're ready to break out the petri dishes and put on your safety goggles, snap on those lab coats, and we are going to be crossbreeding a fennec fox, a beautiful fennec fox that was actually created by Pug Owned on The Sims 4 Gallery. I actually gave it some special genes, aka Cough Cough, some custom content for those gigantic ears using Kalino's amazing rabbit ears, and we're actually going to have rabbits in Sims 4 now, by the way, which is just amazing. We'll talk more about that later. Ah, very excited. But we have a little Fennec Fox to celebrate the arrival of Fennec Foxes in our Planet Zoo series. I am so tickled with how many of you guys really love these, the tiniest of all of the canids that exist in the world. And if you would like to learn more about the Fennec Foxes, definitely check out our Planet Zoo series because that's where we dive in to learning all about their biology, how they mate, what kind of family structure they have. The answers to that are actually really amazing, by the way, but that's not what we're here for. We're here to mix these Finnick Fox, gene, Fox jeans with those gigantic ears with a poodle! A poodle! named Matilda. Both amazing names that we have randomly generated using the random comment generator from our previous laboratory episodes. And Matilda, I am so excited for you to be in here because, oh my gosh, my family recently fostered a like nine week old poodle puppy for a little bit and she was amazing. I have to say that Chips and I now think there may be a Moyen poodle shaped hole in our heart that we might have to fill up soon. Just saying, you might be looking at what could potentially be one of the future members of the Pixel Biology family. So Matilda, I'm very excited to be working with the poodle genes today as well. This is going to be fun guys. This is going to be a lot of fun because we have these gigantic ears on the Finnick Fox and then we have this beautiful, beautiful fur and also gigantic ears that go down on our poodle. And we're gonna go ahead and, you know, just they're each in their own enclosures. If you guys could help me just grab some of their DNA, we're going to mix it into a Petri dish and see what we get. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go, 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 go. Also, let me pull up your guys' names. Oh, hello, little potential puppy. Let me pull up some of your guys' names from our previous videos using the random comment generator. And if you guys want to end up becoming one of our curious creature crossbreeds, all you need to do is go ahead and leave some comments down below. Also, I have to say, <laughs> you can leave whatever kind of comments you want as long as, you know, they are kind and friendly. But holy cow! Matthew! And oh, look, this is gonna be little Matthew. But Matthew, thank you so freaking much for leaving such a sweet comment. I am actually going to like screenshot your comment for sure because that is just amazing. Matthew, who is now going to be, this little puppy is now named after you, left a comment that say, I feel like there aren't many people like you. Thanks for being there for us with your happy voice and personality along with this good content. And Matthew, Thank you. I honestly used to be one of the most negative, pessimistic people that you could have ever meet. I promise you guys. But after about 12 years of joy journaling, three things that I was grateful for every day, um, my personality has completely transformed. I'm kind of like, if you if you took the ugly duckling and turned him into a beautiful swan, uh, I was like the really furious, angry, like hissing, 
fury creature in the in the shadows in the corner and darkness was my depth darkness was my home and then i learned about positive psychology and joy journaling and i started writing down three things that i was grateful for or that brought me joy every day i kept it super private because it's really important that you can validate your own joy and then i kept going and i kept going and i kept going and the funny thing is, when you rewire your neurons like that, it turns out you start seeing joy in more places. And that is the story of how the Siri that you guys know was born. <sighs> Very touching, but we'll talk more about that over on the vlog channel sometime. For now, Matthew, let's go ahead and see what your genes are going to be. All right, and you, Matthew, you are going to be a couch potato who is independent and a little bit of a hunter. That's adorable. Maybe you are a hunter of socks under said couch that you are a potato on. But all right, so there is our very first puppers. I'm pretty excited about that because oh, just such a sweet comment. And let's pull up our next puppers and we're really gonna go ahead and churn along now to see what kind of Petri dish puppies we have. Bear in mind, we do have to roll the- <gasps> Pink? Pink? Oh my gosh, Matilda, you have pink jeans? Come on, pink Finnick Fox, pink Finnick Fox. Okay, you're all so adorable. I will accept this as the offering instead. Uh, all right, guys, welcome to little Chelsea. Chelsea, welcome, welcome. You are going to be adventurous, a sleuth, and stubborn. Hmm. Well, you know, maybe you're like stubborn because you're a good sleuth and you'll grow up to be an amazing detective dog or detective fox when you age up. We'll have to see what you age up into though. That's gonna be so fun. And by the way, guys, we will roll the dice of destiny to go ahead and see if we inherit these finicky fox ears on any of the puppies. But let's go ahead and get the puppies in here to do that. Pull it from the random comment generator. Oh, more pink! Matilda! Matilda, you have pink! Oh my gosh, I really, really, really want to be able to go ahead and have a pink Fennec Fox! Come on, Jeans! Okay, not what I was going for, Jeans, but you did give me a Fennec Fox with demon eyes. I'll take it. And this is actually going to be Sans from Sans Undertale. I think I can tell. Huh, do you get it? I can tell, 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 huh, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry, come on! Ridiculously easy puns like that are just low-hanging fruit of delight. But, Sans, you are going to go ahead and be a stubborn, active, and hairy fox poodle. Foodle? A foodle, maybe? Huh. Alright, your guys' homework is to come up with a cool crossbreed name for a fennec fox set of genetics. Oh, that one's so cute, too! Oh my gosh! <gasps> yes! We got a pink one! You guys! You guys! We just got a pink one! Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is actually going to be Snowy. After Snowy Leopard, I think a fox squirrel would be an amazing thing to crossbreed with a silver fox. We'll have to look into that for sure. For now, you are a pink fox poodle. A foodle, if I may. And, uh, you, well, you know what? You can't really produce wool, but you're not really supposed to be pink, so I'm actually gonna leave that one this time. You are also loyal and a glutton. Wonderful, wonderful. We'll have to see if our little Snowy ends up growing up into a larger poodle or a smaller Finnick Fox. All right, dun 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 dun. <gasps> More pink! Oh my goodness. All right, all right, what are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? Oh, you're so cute! Oh, so this one is not pink, but this little girl is actually Cinefer. I like that, Cinefer. Kind of like Cinnamon and Jennifer as like a pun together, or like smush them together and change it around a little bit. Cinna, what a fun little name. All right. You are going to be jumpy, a glutton, and adventurous, Cinefer. Uh, welcome, Cinefer. Man, oh, oh no! If I get like, if I get an apricot poodle after all, Cinefer might be like the perfect name for her, and she'll just be Sin for short. Oh no! I think I just found my new dog's name. You guys, oh, give me name suggestions. Give me name suggestions, cause Cinefer. Oh, it's me pig. Oh, I love it. All right, and then finally, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna wrap up oh, ooh, with a two-color eyed, look at that, a bicolor eyed 
beautiful fennec fox look-alike named Rainbow after Rainbow Birdsong. School of Dragons, huh? That's what you're asking to play in your comment. I'll have to give that a good think. We're a little busy at the moment, but that's always on the list. And Rainbow, you are going to be vocal, loyal, and adventurous, my dear. So now that Matilda, who I think I'm going to keep forever and ever because I love her, um, and the wonderful Rain Wing, who we have gathered the DNA from just briefly before they head onwards to our Planet Zoo adventures, have had a litter of little Petri dish puppies. Let's go ahead and see what they grow up to be. Also, let me get the Dice of Destiny ready to roll and see if they inherit the large ears that Rain Wing actually has. All right, Matthew, you're up first. <gasps> Matthew! What a beautiful poodle you are! Oh, it looks just like mom. Maybe a little bit different in the snoot, just like mom. But will you inherit those Finnick Fox ears? No. Dice of Destiny says you did not. You're just going to look just like your mother. Spinning image. Absolutely wonderful. Next up is Chelsea. And Chelsea's got a really interesting jaw and face and already has large ears. So, Chelsea, are you... <gasps> Chelsea, I love you! What the heck? Oh my gosh, Chelsea. And you did actually inherit the Finnick Fox ears. I don't think I can go ahead and give you large ears on a large dog, unfortunately. But you have as large of the ears as you're gonna get. I love her, you guys. She's so pretty. Chelsea, what? Okay, this is amazing. I, I totally can get behind this. Oh my gosh. Sans, are you gonna be our first little fox-sized one? No, Sans is a poodle Finnick Fox. <laughs> All right, Sans and Dice of Destiny said that yes, you too indeed ended up inheriting those ears. Wow, I love this look. I had no idea this mix was going to be so cool. Look at these guys. Wow, I might be on like a oodles of poodles sort of kick for the laboratory this month. This is amazing. I mean, we even get pink genetics tossed in here. Snowy, you're up next, my dear. <gasps> Snowy, you are small. You are just a small little pink monster with a very funky little tail and very funky little ears. Oh, she's really cute, you guys. She kind of looks like a very odd lop-eared rabbit, if you ask me. Good job, Snowy. All right, and then Cinefer, with that amazing name. Oh, Cinefer! You actually ended up being really small. Let me roll the dice of destiny. You did not inherit the bunny ears to give you an extra boost, but you did get big ears and you have such a cute little wacky tail. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love that name too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then finally, Rainbow. Rainbow? You two turned out to be a poodle-sized Finnick Fox, and you two ended up with the really cool ears, and you two do not need, you do not need to have a dragon tail, though. Oh my goodness. I can't even imagine, like, what these, like, poodles are going to do with these giant ears. But all right, my friends, I love it. That was actually really cool. I think Chelsea just stands out to me as like the most unique coloring and the most unique, like everything about her. But it was really fun to see there's pink jeans hiding in these oodles of poodle genetics we could be working with. So if you guys could do please leave a like for our wonderful Rain Wing and Matilda and all of the mini puppies that we just crossbred. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!